Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are doing a DIY and this is a bit of a shorter video but it's informational. This is actually one of the videos that I thought from before my channel was started that I wanted to do because it's something that I use all the time and it's just one of those things that I like to watch on YouTube and that is beauty DIYs. So as you can tell by the title, this is for a DIY eyelash serum and I first want to start off by saying that you can use one of these oils or you can use all of them. I just kind of went a little bit oil crazy and got four different kinds, but really you can just use one and it will be just fine. So I use this eyelash serum at nighttime before I go to bed and I, it just makes it so my eyelashes, I've noticed when I consistently use it within a week or so, I notice them to be like just healthier and stronger and they just, they just feel better. They make it so when I apply my mascara, they kind of just, they look better, they look more full of life and less like used up and tired of having makeup always on them and washed off and on and washed off. It's something very moisturizing for them and uh, so anyway, without further ado, let's get into the instructions. So the first thing that you want to do to make this serum, you want to get your hands on one or all of these, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil and argan oil. And so what I decided to do was just literally split them equal parts. Um, you could get a little container from anywhere in your house or you could go onto Amazon like I did and get these cute little beauty containers or whatever you call them. And you could also use little wands. They sell little wands that you can put serums into as well. And I tried that and I just became more of a fan of putting it into the little containers, but you can really do whatever suits you. Since I use a container, I like to apply my serum with either like a little eyeliner brush or I like to apply it with a Q-tip. It just kind of depends on what's going on. With a Q-tip, I have noticed it coats way more on my lashes than just lining my lash line. It just depends on if I really want to like really soak those lashes that night in the oil. So like I said, I put equal parts of all these oils and I just measured out with a teaspoon, uh, about a full teaspoon of each and just plopped it in there and then I have a little space left over to stir it when I'm all done. I'm just going to quickly read to you the benefits of each of those oils the top benefits of each of those oils. So, argan oil is rich in beneficial nutrients including fatty acids and vitamin E. Its properties make it particularly beneficial for the hair and skin, which make it a popular cosmetic choice for many celebrities. It's not just for the rich and famous though, anyone can reap the argan oil benefits for the body. Vitamin E is a fat soluble antioxidant that is essential for the maintenance of healthy skin. Natural occurring vitamin E is not a single compound, instead vitamin E is a group of molecules and related structures, some of which may have unique properties in the skin. So sweet almond oil has a lot of cool properties too. Getting all sciency, it's emollient and somewhat viscous, which I can't remember if I'm pronouncing that right, homeschooler moment, um, which allows for slower absorption. So if you put this on in the night, it's like a nice mask for your lashes. Antipyritic, so it relieves itching. If your eyes are just puffy and swollen and itchy, when you go to sleep that night, who knows, maybe you wanna put some uh, of that serum on your eyes with the sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil contains vitamins A, B1, B2, B6, and E. Always going back to vitamin E, but I thought you can never have too much vitamin E. Honestly, if there was one of these that you had to go and buy, I would say vitamin E, followed by a close second, which would be castor oil. So what I'm seeing here for castor oil is that it stimulates hair growth and can be used to thicken hair. It's also apparently a wonder product because it can, it can help with acne, healthy skin, beautiful nails, glowing lips, stretch marks, and cracked heels as well. And I'm seeing more on here about it helps in regulating a menstrual cycle, um, it provides constipation relief, Wow, there's like a lot of stuff on here on castor oil. Hmm, no wonder why they used to make little kids take a teaspoon of castor oil. Hmm. Naturally detoxes the liver, can heal ovarian cysts and fibroids. So anyway, so cool to see nature's medicine like that. Like these are so full of cool stuff and I'm getting carried away with castor oil, but actually, honestly, all of them had so many cool benefits. So here's a video of me <laughs> Here's a video of me all tired faced and messy hair. I had actually just woke up, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to record how it looks for me to apply this stuff. So just, I guess, 
I guess deal with that face and that lighting and all of that. Very special moment. <laughs> As you can see, it's super easy to apply and my lashes get all soaked up with that oily goodness. So that's what's going on your eyeballs every night if you're dedicated to it. And honestly, your lashes will thank you. I've been out and about so my makeup is a little bit tired right now. It just makes your lashes happy and that's my little secret. And I thought I'd share that with all of you guys. So if you did enjoy this kind of video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Comment below if you want to see any other beauty DIYs or just whatever videos in general just comment below what you'd like to see thanks so much for watching guys keep smiling and have a wonderful day oops so if your eyes are just puffy and swollen i did i did so if your eyes are just puff castor oil really is your medicine kids stimulates hair growth and can be used to hick hicken and can be used to thicken hair so if you did So if you did enjoy this comment below what you'd like to see. Keep smiling guys and have